Prime Minister Modi visited INS Vikrant to celebrate Diwali with Indian Navy personnel, extending festive greetings, and acknowledging their dedication in safeguarding the nation's maritime frontiers. Pakistan Navy's Agosta 90B submarine upgrades by Turkey have backfired, with sea trials showing 15 decibels more higher noise levels than before, making them easier targets for the Indian Navy. The poor integration and substandard upgrade work by Turkey has increased the acoustic signature from 100 decibels to nearly 120 decibels, that can be detectable from 70 kilometers away. Trials are underway to validate the upgraded ramjet engine of the 800 km range Brahmos LR variant, and officials have confirmed that the Indian Navy and Indian Army will be first to deploy the new long-range variant in 2027, as it will require only minor fire control software tweaks. The DRDO is in the process of integrating several advanced technologies derived from the recovered Chinese PL-15 air-to-air missile into the Astra Mark II program, that includes next-generation propellant capable of Mach 5 hypersonic speeds, and sophisticated home-on-jam capabilities, which means if an enemy aircraft tries to jam the missile's radar using electronic countermeasures, the missile can track that jamming signal itself and use it as a beacon to home in and destroy the target. Israel Aerospace Industries has offered its CLM-2040 over-the-horizon radar to support India's mission shooter Sun Chakra, that can detect and track stealth fighter jets cruise missiles and hypersonic glide vehicles well before they enter radar horizon. The Indian Air Force is planning to procure more meteor air to air missiles to strengthen its Rafale fleet's long-range strike capabilities. The Indian Army is creating drone units of about 70 soldiers in each battalion for swarm FPV and anti-drone missions, with up to 10,000 drones per corps. Over 100,000 UAVs will soon be deployed across 14 corps. India and Brazil are finalizing a deal for six additional Embraer EMB-145 jets, that will be converted into improved Netra Mark 1A aircraft, tripling the Air Force's Netra fleet from 3 to 9. The development work of 800 horsepower engine for the Zorawa light tank is in full swing by combat vehicles research and development establishment and the Sok Leyland's Hyderabad team, targeting bench testing by mid-2026. The DRDO is developing the Universal Communication Suite, which is a next-generation system for secure and seamless internal and external communications in Indian Navy submarines. Data Patents Private Limited has emerged as the lowest bidder for DRDO's 34.5 crore rupees project, on the development supply and integration of hardware for the unmanned ground combat vehicle and autoloader system. Prototypes are expected by 2026, and the Army plans to induct 100 plus unmanned ground combat vehicles by 2030. The project includes an automated ammunition handling autoloader, indicating that the vehicle will be weaponized, and not just reconnaissance oriented. The Indian Air Force's Software Development Institute has introduced an AI-powered predictive maintenance system for Su-30 fighter jets, designed to forecast engine issues in the AL-31 FP engines before they manifest. Since its deployment in early 2025, the AI tool has reduced unscheduled engine failures by around 40%, improved serviceability by 15%, and lowered diversions by 25%. Using data from flight recorders and engine health monitoring units, the system identifies early signs of compressor stalls, turbine cracks or vibration anomalies up to 200 flight hours in advance. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, my God.